Now we discuss about light dependent reactions. Light dependent reactions also known as Z scheme or Hill reaction. Why it is called as the light dependent reaction? Because it takes place only in the presence of light. Also called as Z scheme due to the presence of electron carriers in Z shape in the thylakoid membrane and Hill reaction due to its discoverer. Chlorophyll molecules in the photosystem too absorbs the light and the red light they absorb is of 680 nanometer. As you know light is in the form of photons and when these photons hit the chlorophyll molecules due to high energy photons the electrons are removed from the chlorophyll and chlorophyll molecules get oxidized. The electrons that are removed from the chlorophyll A molecule at photosystem 2 are absorbed by primary electron acceptor of photosystem 2. Due to this excitation of chlorophyll A molecules, the photosystem 2 is now electron deficient and is oxidized. Its electron hole filled by the splitting of the water and chlorophyll molecules at P680 reduced by obtaining electrons from the water and water is oxidized and this process of oxidation of water is called as photolysis. The electrons from excited chlorophyll A molecules is then transferred to the pheophytin and then to the plastocunin and from the plastocunin these electrons are transferred to cytochrome BF complex. Here enough energy is released that is responsible for the formation of a bond between ADP and inorganic phosphate so that a molecule of ATP is produced. At the end of electron transport chain plastocyanin is present as the final electron acceptor of the photosystem too which is get reduced by accepting electrons from cytochrome BF complex. At the same time, chlorophyll molecules at P700 absorbs the red light of 700 nanometer and get excited. The electrons that are removed from the P700 are absorbed by iron sulfur protein then transferred to the feridoxin and from the feridoxin the final acceptor is NADP. This NADP get reduced by absorbing elect electrons from feridoxin to NADPH. The electron hole of P700 get filled by the electrons from the plastocyanin. So in this whole process the electrons from the water are removed and transferred to NADP because the electrons move from water in a straight way to NADP that is why this electron flow is known as non-cyclic electron flow whereas sometimes plants may be deficient in ATP or due to the unavailability of NADP the electrons may reverse back from feridoxin to the plastocunone and cycles in between the photosystem 1 feridoxin and back to plastocunone. This is called as cyclic electron flow. I hope this makes sense.